Hey guys, this is your girl Melanie. And as I reported um, a few days ago, the shirt that the Trump shooter, um, the guy who tried to take um, Trump's life, he was wearing a YouTuber shirt and that YouTuber is Demolition Ranch. They are, um, they basically do different gun videos and shooting videos. Now, let me make it clear. They have zero ties to this man, zero ties to this assassination attempt. They have nothing to do with it just because, so, I mean, he could have been wearing a Cheetos shirt. He could have been wearing, you know, a Biden shirt in a picture. He wasn't even wearing a demolition ranch shirt at the time that he was hit. I, I believe this is a, just a picture of him in general, but that is their symbol. So now Matt from demolition ranch has responded to it. And so we're gonna play that, but I just wanted to show you that this is one of their shirts. This is the picture, you know, there's very few pictures of this guy, but this is one of the ones that has been circulating, showing that symbol on the back. I'm sure there will be a lot of people watching this video who do not know me, who are, are new to this channel, and are just checking in based on recent occurrences. So for those who are new, for those who do not know me, my name is Matt Carricker. I am a Texas-based YouTuber. And this is my YouTube channel. Um, Demolition Ranch is a firearm-centered channel. I also have um, Off the Ranch, Matt Carricker channel, which is a, a vlog-type channel. And then I'm also a veterinarian, and so I have Vet Ranch, which is a veterinary-centered channel. And across the board, across all of my videos, we really don't talk about politics at all. We keep politics out of it. For one, it's not my bread and butter, but also I don't, feel the need to impose my political views and beliefs on other people. And so we generally just stay away from the topic of politics. However, we were obviously kind of thrust into the conversation after last weekend. So before I go any further, to the family of the victim who died during the Trump shooting, uh, man, I'm so sorry for your loss. It's terrible, and I, I hate that that happened to him and to you guys. And you know, wishing, wishing you guys the best from here. It's that's the worst. For those who were injured in the shooting as well, wishing you guys um, a speedy recovery. Praying for pain-free recovery for you as well, both physically and mentally. I can't imagine. So, as a lot of you guys know. Um, and we were shocked and confused to, to find this out. The shooter who tried to assassinate Trump was wearing merch from my channel, wearing a, a Demolition Ranch t-shirt. And that sucked to see that. Yeah, that was, that was rough. So this this T-shirt, we also own a T-shirt company, um, and it's based out of this my hometown right here, and my friends work there, and we we make these shirts, we print them here in Texas, and ship them all over the world. I, I've seen my shirts in every continent. I got a picture like two weeks ago of a guy wearing my shirt in Antarctica, and so. We don't vet the people who buy our shirts, obviously. It'd be impossible to, just like Nike doesn't vet who buys their shoes. I wish I could. I would love to keep people like that from buying, wearing, being associated with that article of clothing. Like, I wish I wish he couldn't get a shirt. But it happened. And I think the difference in, you know, a gunman wearing a, a pair of Nike shoes and a gunman wearing my t-shirt is this brand is much more personal to me than Nike is to its executives. And so to see my name next to the shooter's name, oh, it sucks. And I wish, I wish we could keep that from happening. So no matter what side you're on politically, none of us want violence. This channel was never meant to incite violence or hate. It never has, it isn't, and it never will be a channel that does that. I don't want any violence or hate anywhere around me. I have a wife and little kids. I want them to be safe and secure forever. And the videos I put out, I want to make sure that is the same for everyone who watches my videos, that they 
aren't in any more danger because of my videos, of course. And I know you guys know that. I have 11 million subscribers who have been watching me for over 10 years and know that I am uh, not that kind of person. This is mostly for the people who are just tuning in to see if I am a guy that is trying to make people do stuff like that. So, I am not. Uh, obviously, I don't have to explain that to you guys who know me, but I, I feel like I might need to say that for those who don't. This channel is not about violence. This channel will never be, and uh, we never would condone that at all. I hate that. It's a weird, a weird deal, and yeah, I have I have news articles calling me, asking for interviews, asking what I know about the shooter, asking if I've ever had any communication with the shooter, if I've ever met him. No, he bought a shirt online, and unfortunately wore it that day. Anyway, wishing the best for everyone affected by this. Um, obviously, the way I'm affected is nothing compared to the way some people are affected by this, so i um, not trying to take anything away from them, but yeah, just kind of letting you guys know. I wanted to tell you guys who know me that we're here, we're still, still going, and uh, yeah, it's unfortunate, but it's not what we stand for, and it will never be what we stand for, and uh, we're going to keep Keep trucking. When you're watching a, a CNN article and it it says three names, the shooters, Trumps, and mine. That was not on my 2024 bingo card. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna end this video. Let's move forward. And um, thank you guys for listening. Thanks for watching, and most of all, thanks for the support. So I. I didn't know if it had been confirmed until now that he was absolutely wearing his shirt on the day of the shooting. Um, and let me just show you this. So the shirt in question is this one. That is the front of the shirt. There's the front and back. Um, I'm not going to show the other picture, but I know that picture was circulating of uh, the gunman, Thomas Crooks. Now I heard that he had wore an American flag shirt but this there is an american flag on here but it's not that big so i wasn't sure but it looks like he has confirmed that he was wearing his shirt um at the rally when he when he attempted to take donald trump's life now let me say you have to be very low iq to think that this he had some association or he he had some plan to it i mean the guy sells thousands of shirts he has 11 million followers why in the world, just because someone's wearing that merch doesn't mean anything. Now, some people say, well, it's different if it was Nike. It's different if it was, you know, Coca-Cola or whatever brand or, you know, whatever brand you can think of because he actually has a gun channel. He has a gun hobby channel, gun enthusiast channel. He does not have a promoting violence channel. Like just because you are a gun enthusiast or a gun hobbyist or like guns, or it's it's a, a hobby of yours that you are a violent person, it makes no sense to make that correlation, but we know people are going to try to connect those dots. What I find strange, and I played this video my previously today, where many far left people are upset that, you know, actually a lot of politicians and news anchors are, you know, called for, and celebrities call for Trump to be killed, wanting him assassinated. And then you see the far left right now are upset that the he, that the gunman missed that he didn't shoot trump you don't hear any outcry like you know we need to ban guns and all this these same people who say that they are online advocating right now and saying that they are upset that he missed that someone needs to try again trump needs to be shot so they're all for guns and violence when it comes to taking out someone they don't like but they use it as a talking point to say guns are bad so anyway i wanted to put that out there because we do not want anyone who's innocent in this situation to be victimized or to be hurt again he's just a guy with a youtube channel you know doing what he loves it has nothing to do with it i think it's disgusting and trifling people who try to tie that to it and in fact i plan on doing a video of all the people who have been court have called for trump's assassination and are now upset that he wasn't assassinated and they actually wanted the gunman to um to hit trump and to take him out so you know and again these are people that wear their you know i hate guns hats and they're just you know very delicate snowflakes but 
of course, there's no logic when it comes to a lot of these lip tarts. So guys, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about this and I will see you on the next one.